Well, it seems we've another classic band beef on our hands, folks. As in the past few weeks, it appears that Noel Gallagher's fax machine has finally started working, and he caught wind of the fact that Matty Healy said that Oasis were arguably the best band in the world, that they should grow up and reunite to form said best band in the world once again, whilst putting their brotherly mard to the side. And as always, Noel Gallagher responded to such praise with dignity, intelligence, and class. And, wait, wait he said, he said what? <laughs> Noel Gallagher responded to Matty Healy's comments in the same way he always does, by spewing out a bunch of hot baseless garbage that unfortunately I think I no longer have time for. Now Noel Gallagher when first questioned about Matty's comments stated the following and I've adapted it to make it a bit more family friendly. Upon being asked did he hear what Matty said he replied, Oh, that blasted slack jawed silly billy, what did he say? And when told Matty's statement about Oasis being the coolest band in the world and getting back together, he said he would never be able to imagine it. He needs to go over how terrible his band are and split up. But was that enough for Noel Gallagher's bloodlust? Of course not. As no one tells Noel Gallagher he's in the best band in the world and that Oasis should reform and get away with it. I mean, maybe he's taken a bit of offence to the fact Matty said on some level who cares about Noel's solo work. But Noel certainly went ahead and made his feelings clear about the 1970s regardless in an interview with the NME. Noel stated how he thought the 1975 were, and I'm putting it a bit politely here, not very good. And that their win for best rock band at the Brits was wrong, and he went on about how the 1975 are not a rock band. And that the title of the award needs to be redefined immediately if that's what rock is. As the 1975 should not be winning an award for best rock band. And yeah, I'd probably agree with him, except he's wrong. It has been redefined already. Now hold on to your hats, folks, as the 1975 didn't win the award for Best British Rock Band. They won the award for Best British Rock or Alternative Act. And well, due to the 1975 style of music, they're certainly alternative. I mean, Arctic Monkeys were nominated for the same award and they're not really producing rock records anymore either. And further to this, the award isn't specifically for bands either, it's just for acts. Hence why Tom Grennan, an alternative solo artist, was also nominated. Although it it is arguable he's just making pop music now. But regardless at the 2023 Brits and the years prior, the 1975 have never won the Best British Rock Band Award anyway. They've won Best British Group and Best Album of the Year. Awards that have nothing to do with rock music in their title. So Noel was literally complaining about something that needed changing that was already changed to include a wider variety of bands. Like some old angry man shouting at the sky for no reason. And why was the award name changed at the Brits? Well, it's because guitar or rock music isn't as popular as it once was around 15 to 20 years ago. Unbelievable, I know. And it's become marginalized to some extent. Funnily enough, this was the exact issue Noel was speaking about 45 seconds beforehand in the same interview, just before he started complaining about the 1975 Brits win. So all in all, what was the point of him bringing it up? Literally no point, he was complaining about an issue that doesn't exist, and even the interviewer told Noel that he rates the 1975. I think he just kind of wanted to say he didn't like the 1975. And why are people taking umbrage with this kind of thing now? Well, further to all of these issues, this nonsense comes only weeks after when asked about an Oasis reunion possibly happening as the mightily handsome... <laughs> As the incredibly talented Damon Albarn suggested, Oasis will reform in 2025. Now, strangely, Noel didn't have an issue with Damon saying this, and instead said Liam's people should contact Noel's people. And well, it was all going too well until Noel said that Liam was too much of a coward to call himself, kicking off another spite-filled interchange between the two. And to be fair to Noel, it is an incredibly clever way of pretending you might be open to an Oasis reunion when you're 100% not, or whilst manipulating the situation to pin the blame on Liam and making Liam kick off by suggesting that communications could begin only to throw the word coward in there and ensure communication doesn't begin in a productive way. And all that's happened now is Noel once again has dared Liam to call him and Liam has told Noel to call him as he doesn't see him himself. I'm convinced Oasis will probably never reunite and that's fine to be honest. But I'll admit the brotherly bickering that goes back and forth is quite entertaining.
And similar to telling bands to split up, it's not the first time Noel's responded to someone in such a way either. There's a notorious time Foo Fighters declared their love for Oasis, with Dave Grohl saying how great it would be for Oasis to reform for the rest of the world. And of course, Noel responded by saying how great it would be if Foo Fighters split up for the rest of the world. Lovely stuff. And who could forget the time he tried to start beef with Lewis Capaldi by calling him a blinding idiot. And that's putting it politely again. Only to get absolutely destroyed by Lewis Capaldi at every twist and turn. Through Lewis taking photos with Noel's daughter, Lewis taking photos with Liam Gallagher, and then Noel's disgruntled clip being played at Glastonbury. Just before Lewis came onto stage dressed as a mank, ripping open his parka, and wearing a t-shirt with Noel's face on it. It's one of the few times I've seen Noel meet his match and give up, and I loved every second of it as much as I do like Noel. Now, personally, for me, I'm at a point where I simply can't be bothered hearing any more drivel come out of Noel Gallagher's mouth about other artists in the industry who I admire. And ultimately, I think I'd love to see work with Noel or even just sit down and speak about music with him in some way. But am I going to listen to his interviews in the future? Yeah, probably. I mean, it does seem as though that Noel has successfully whittled his group of peers down to a very few select musical legends and a host of Radio X members. And to be honest, it's a shame as I love both Oasis and Noel Gallagher's music. And there once was a time where I too enjoyed Noel's quips and comebacks. But I mean, are we a bit bored of it by now? To me, this isn't even down to his comments about the 1975 either. I just feel in general it's taken Noel repeatedly telling everyone to do one for years for me to finally do one myself. I no longer particularly care about the spite-filled comments he has for other bands. All of this kind of reminds me of when Gordon Ramsay released his new show, Future Food Stars, last year, where Gordon Ramsay was being his usual self as he has been for the past 20 years. And one review stated, Really, Gordon? Is this all you still have? shouting at people. And I understood where they were coming from, as it kind of did just feel like Gordon was still shouting at people. But here's the thing. Large scales of people still tune in to only see Gordon Ramsay have a go at people. In the same way, millions of people probably still love Noel for him saying he hates everyone else in the music industry. And maybe to his credit, Noel knows his brand and personality enough and doesn't really care to change it. And to be fair, he's already earned his status as a musical legend, so it doesn't really need the approval of anyone else, nor does he need to be kind to any other artists or even reform Oasis. Essentially, he completed the main storyline quest years ago and has just been doing side quests since. I think all in all, we just have to take anything he says with a pinch of salt, but personally, I think it'd be great for Noel to elevate himself into a true all-time great, who was loved by artists alike and realistically has grown up and is open to meeting newer artists and embracing the people who love him much like Liam has. And I think it'd be incredibly interesting to see him work on things with other people in the industry who have also built up their platforms more recently, such as Matty Healy with the 1975. But then again, I'm not Noel Gallagher. No one is. But the question is, how much longer is everyone going to care about what he's saying until he just becomes that old man shouting at everyone in the corner of the pub, telling everyone they're rubbish and they don't know what real music is? Simply becoming looked upon as a man who almost killed his legacy with bitterness. Well, who knows if that day will ever come, to be honest. He will always be Noel Gallagher, he'll always be a legend, and I'm pretty sure he really, really doesn't care. As always, feel free to like and subscribe if you're new here. And on that note, I think I'll say ta for now, and I'll see you later.